WFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials down 178. NASDAQ off 48, S&P's down 16 and a half. And you take a look at these S&P's, folks. The bottom line is that I expect what you're going to see out here is that you're going to get more volatility into the close. You know, we had a low out here today of 32.06. We got up at uh, 12, at, at 1 o'clock to 32.46. Right now you're at 32.41. I expect that it's going to just try to get up to this 32.46 again. Bottom line we go into the NDX 100, and you want to see a move. This is pretty amazing. And the NDX 100, what the NDX had done, folks, is that it went to all-time highs yesterday, had volume behind the move, and I expect that that high is going to get tested once again. Low out here today in the NQs was 87.35, and the bottom line is that you're 105 points over that right now. We hit 88.61, and I suspect that it's going to try to get into that 88.61 again. Uh, when all said and done the next few days, I do expect we're going to see the, at least the NASDAQ test its highs. Now, when we take a look at the bond market, this is going to get really intriguing. What, what the bonds have been moving higher on a continual basis. You get the 10-year up 24 ticks, the 30-year up 1 point plus 21 ticks. And what has happened here is this. You are coming up right against, right now at the 158.09, well, when we, when we start dealing with the 159, about a point higher than this, we're going to be coming up to the trend line that has been a downtrend since September. We, if we break this with conviction, guess what? We're going all the way back to 167.16, which is a monster move. The 30-year, bottom line, same type of setup inside the 30-year, I mean inside the 10-year. 10-year out here, huge move out here today, up 24 ticks. The 10-year is already saying it already broke the downtrend that has been created since October 7th. So 132 is game inside of the 10-year. If we look at this 10-year yield right now, what you're going to see out here is that we are yielding right now at 1.78%. And you talk about something that's moved around in two days. Yesterday, we're at the top of the range. 1.944. 1.944. It gave it up in spades. And guess what? You gap lower today. This is on its way back down to the 1.69 area. We're at 1.78 right now. Stay right there, folks. Come back for the next 60 minutes of the first week of 2020. Get your jetpacks on. Future is here. Come right back.